Well, Jed, you were due a goal at the Hawthorns. It's been a few months since you scored in front of our own supporters. How good did that feel today? Yeah, I think you're right. Um, needed that, definitely. Um, but it was a, more importantly that we got to win. I think it was a game, it was a real banana skin game where we know Bristol, they're a bit up and down and on their day they can they can really challenge anyone in this league. Obviously beating Southampton, they pushed Ipswich really close as well. We know that on their day they're a really good side. Um, it was probably a game where everyone expected us to win and I think it was the epitome of um, professionalism from us really. From from the first minute the lads were, were bang on it. We scored at a really good time. Um, another great goal from Tom and then we scored again. Sort of, I think it was probably 60 odd minutes that just settled us down and, and managed to sort of get through the rest of the game. Then uh, another clean sheet, and we keep pushing up the table, hopefully, uh, going into a big Easter weekend. You've overfired it by about 15 minutes. It was right at the start of the second half, your goal. So, two big goals at two big moments, Jed, really took the sting out of Bristol City's performance today, didn't it? Yeah, 100%. Because it was a tight game, wasn't it, first half? I think they were, they were sat sort of in their shape, and it was difficult to, to break them down. Um, and we sort of a couple of times, John, I got down the side of them, had a couple of shots and, and we nearly nearly got there. Um, but it was a sort of a lot of huff and puff without sort of that last bit. And then obviously it was great um, from Tom to come in and, and pit it in the bottom corner and that sort of perfect time to score. Um, and then like you say, apparently the goal was quite quick in the second half again. So yeah, it was um, we managed to sort of see the game out and I think you can see the work that we do defensively on the training ground um, when we're ahead. I feel really confident in us um, defending our box, pressing, and we look really good sort of last half an hour. So, yeah, positive day. Um, international break comes at a good time for us now on the back of a win. Get a bit of a breather um, for the boys. Hopefully the international boys play well, don't get injured, and we can um, move on to Mill. You know what the gaffer's like. He, one game at a time, kind of bloke. Um, but for the players, you knew the importance of today. You know that if you had picked up three points, you'd move eight points clear of the chasing pack. How important is that at this stage of the season? Yeah, 100%. I think for us, you need to keep disappointing the teams below. Sort of every time they win, they need to come in and see us win um, and sort of keep them as far away from us as possible. I think the manager said it before the game that we really need to concentrate on ourselves. And he's right. He sort of put a graph up and showed how far we've come to get 63 points and how important this block of games is now um, to get ourselves over the line. Um, so like you said, uh, we won't take our eye off the ball, certainly with the manager every day. Um, we have a couple of days now to get a breather and then we work uh, ready for Mill and Watford, which is a massive weekend in the Championship calendar. Just finally, Jed, I'd just like to ask you about being the captain of this football club because I think every Albion fan will agree when I say that every time you play for this football club, it looks like it means so much to you leading this team, leading this group of players. What does it feel like to to do that and have that responsibility? Yes, yeah, it's, it's like I said before, just just playing for this club for me is is a massive honour, um, and you never lose sight of the responsibility I have as captain. Um, I always give my best um, wherever I'm asked to play. I'll always try my best and we've got a really, really great group of lads. So it's, it's easy for me to be honest. Um, the likes of Barts and Palms, Connor, Darnell, Okai, Moe, we have we have great personalities and leaders throughout the group. Um, so for me, it's easy um, to be honest and it's, it's a pleasure. I've, I've loved being here since I've been here and uh, looking forward to the rest of the season. Uh, more importantly, a few days off first and then uh, we start gearing up for a really big weekend.